Alright there guys, welcome to today's video. Here we have a team by uh, Pokeberm. Uh, now this is an interesting team, it's got Umbreon and Espeon which we haven't used before. We have come up against Umbreons before, just not Umbreons and Espeons. Uh, I'll stop saying that now. Um, so I'll quickly run through the team before we get going on to the battles. So we've got uh, an Ogapon. Ogapon is just a standard uh, Ogapon, um a Wellspring mask, that sort of thing. Now, the Umbreon has got leftovers, which we have sort of used this before. Uh, it is a very bulky Umbreon. Obviously, the leftovers help it out. It's got Wish. Um, yeah. Uh, then we've got Glamora with the Power Herb, which you've seen in a previous video. We have used that sort of build for it. Um, then we've got Espeon finally there with the uh, Focus Sash. It is a Psychic type, obviously. Uh, Tinkatonk. Tinkatonk. Tinkaton. That's the one. Not Tinkatonk. Tinkaton. Anyway, uh, Citrus Berry, uh, Water Terror, and then finally we have the Entei with the Choice Ban, um, normal type, obviously to utilize that extreme speed there uh, and to get the damage out of the Choice Band. I'll stop talking now, let's get straight to game one. Right, here we go guys, battle one, game one. So uh, I might need to swap controls halfway through this, they're dying, they're running out of battery. Uh, right, we've got a Raikou, which we haven't come up against. It's a nice change. A Lilin, Lilligant, whatever it's called. A Tornado, Sprout Bonnet, Rampados, can't remember. And a Shifu. Um, interesting, I like this. Um, do I just bring these two? Hmm. Uh, let's go with... You know what? I'm gonna go with Umbreon and Espeon straight away. Let's bring Entei in the back because it could deal with two of those, potentially three. And then we bring is this ticket on defensive at all? So it's speed and attack. It's got the fake out, which is handy. Uh, let's do you know what? Let's bring the Ogapon. We know that uh, bulky. Okay, so he's got Tornado and Lilligan. So sunny day. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to go Sunny Day. I already know that. <laughs> Dazzling Gleam hits both. I'm going to go Dazzling Gleam. Let's uh, Snarl both as well. Let's just drop that. Oh, he's on Tailwind instead. Okay, that works. Can't remember if it's, it's physical, isn't it? Wow. Half damage though from the um, from the Espeon. Take it. Right, so we've got the Urshifu here. Right, so the baby doll eyes are going to be quite handy. So we've got the Snarl, which obviously didn't do anything. I should have just um, foul played. Right, let's. Should I protect with Umbreon? No. I am going to baby doll eyes into the Urshifu, and then I'll foul play into the Urshifu. Let's just try and focus on that Urshifu, shall we? Baby doll eyes. Charm would have been better, but at least that goes first. Who's he going to go for? I've, if, I'd go for the Espeon. Yeah, of course he is. And I live. Foul play, is it going to do anything to the Urshifu here? I don't think it will, but we'll see. No, does absolutely nothing. Right, let's do that again. And then we will wish... Yeah. Shame it hasn't got, like... Um... Will-O-Wisp or Toxic or something like that to wear down its opponents. Because I could just keep wishing it all the time. Petal Blizzard. Is he just clicking every move? Like, on that Lilligan? I think they are. And the Wish comes in. Okay. We need to take out the Lilligan, really, though. And find a way of dealing with the Urshifu. Um, okay. 
Let's go with extreme speed. Let's go with the extreme speed and let's do, let's go protect. Let's just, I want to get the wish out. And he's withdrawn it, okay. Interesting. Raikou, so he's going to get a full hit of, um, of an extreme speed here. Terrid and um, choice band as well. Okay. Right. So obviously I'm going to attack first. Just depends how much damage I'm going to do to this Raikou. Um. But we'll. S oh, fight here. I didn't read the Pokemon then. I just read protect. Extreme speed, is it going to do anything? Almost, but it will get taken out next one. This is going to miss. Please miss the Entei. Nope, does not. Almost takes out the Entei, but Raikou's getting taken out here. I was saying that, I feel like... Uh, Tornadus needs taken out. I feel like he's going to do more damage. Hmm. Tailwind's gone. That's fine. So, uh, extreme speed into the Tornadus. Let's go foul play into the Raikou. More chance of taking them both out this way. All right. Is it going to take him out, though? That's the question. Of course it is. Now, let's just hope I'm quicker than the Raikou. Come on, Umbreon. Who's quicker? Who's quicker? No, nope, he's quicker. Aura Sphere? Yeah, that's, I wouldn't expect anything less there, really. Just hoping this takes him out, and then he's only got the Urshifu. Oh, and he's got Lilligant as well. So, he's yeah, he's probably going to win. Come on, Umbreon. Right. Moment of truth. Can we win this? No. <laughs> I don't believe we can, but we'll see. Urshifu is a priority. Although Lilligant is going to be hard to deal with. Do I go Horn Leech? No, let's go Ivy Cudgel. Let's go... Let's go Wish, actually. Let's get the Wish out. Oh, I'm first. Even better. Come on. Oh. It's a bulky Urshifu. And he avoided perfect. I'm, yeah, I have no way saying that I have, we won this soft skill. That was pure luck if we win this. Absolute pure luck if we win this. We know we're quicker than the Urshifu, so it will die. Unless it somehow decides to detect or something for some reason. But I can't believe he missed that. Had he not missed that? Uh, let's, yeah, Ivy Cudgel. I'm not risking it on foul play. Oh. But yeah, no way saying that, I, that that was a one-off skill. That was just pure luck. <laughs> right, let's go on to game two. Right, okay, game two here. So, uh, we've got an Ursaluna, Chi Yu, uh, Enamorous, Magnazone, Volcarona, and Iron Boulder. This is a tough team by the looks of it we need to play this clever but it seems that most of them are weak to water so the yoga pond here is probably the, the best shout um do i go espion or Rumb i feel like i'm gonna go both actually again because i can always reduce the attack of stuff although if i was him i'd go chi yu potentially let's go with ogre pond first see that's the problem the magnazone Let's bring the 
Um, Entei in first. And then... Um, let's bring the Umbreon, Espeon, and... There's a lot of fire types, so let's bring... Let's bring Ogapon in last. Yeah. Right, so Volcarone and Magnezone. So I did well not bringing the Ogapon there. Uh, Entei and Umbreon. Um, so I only brought Umbreon just for the Snarl, basically. Um, and I mean, Entei's here. Uh, it's actually quite good being here. So we've got Stomping Tantrum. Although, has Magnezone got Levitate? Let me just quickly check before I do anything. Stone Edge, Sacred Fire. So we could always Sacred Fire. Uh... Let's Sacrify the Magnezone. Let's Snarl them both. Magnezone has not got Levitate, so I could have... I would have figured it would do, considering it Levitates on the battlefield. Anyway. Pokemon Logic. Oh, he's a Water-type as well. Damn it. Yeah, the Sacrifice is going to do nothing. Yeah, he saw that. I mean, it did quite a bit of damage, considering it was weak, but that did even more damage. That lowers your special attack. Not by a lot, but enough. <laughs> and he's got Terra Black. That's a good strategy. Gonna take him out. Yep, that was a very good strategy. Bring in the fire type and then take him out with the... Um, take him out with a terror that is cracking strategy he saw that coming a mile away um let's bring ogapon let's terror ogapon i'm so far quicker than ogapon here actually yeah let's terror ogapon let's horn leech into magnezone let's foul play Let's protect. I think had I terrored the Entei, I would have survived that. And I didn't want to terror the Entei. Should have done. Should have just gone extreme speed. Might have taken him out. Okay. Body aspect. Special defense rose, which is good, considering we are going up against special defensive Pokemon. Uh, special offensive, sorry. Horn Leech should take him out, and it does. That's what we like. Now, how much damage is Volcarona going to do, or was it just going to attack the um, Umbreon like it was trying to do before? Oh, no, it's gone for the Yogapon. Even better. No damage. Right, so he's brought the Chiyu out. There we go. Right, we are focusing on the Chiyu here. Just hoping I am quicker. Uh, let's do... Snarl again. He's going to protect. Okay. Okay. Obviously this misses. Um, right, the Snarl. I'm hoping to get the Snarl out at least here. Just so it low... Oh, he's gone Tailwind! Ah, interesting. I think had I attacked the Volcarona there... I think I would have that would have been game set and match there really. I need to get a wish out. Really, really need to get a wish out. Or another protect. Protect. Let's just try and get the le uh, leftovers up a bit more. Right. Who is he gonna attack first? Chi Yu. Bug Buzz. Yep, that misses. And then I'm assuming Heat Wave from the Chiyu here. Will O Wisp. Okay. I mean, I'm probably going to still take out the Chiyu here unless he's got a. I should still do quite a bit of damage. Have a look. Oh, he lives. That wasn't even on the Focus Sash. He lives. Alright, I'm going to aim for the Volcarona this time. Yeah. 
Let's aim for the Volcarona. Let's snarl them both. Ooh. I attack whatever he's bringing in. Come on, be Ursaluna or something. Who's this? That'll do. Water type, it's uh, ground type, rock type, whatever it is. I'll take that. I'm happy with that play. See how much damage I do to um, Iron Boulder though. Not enough. Not enough. I nearly took it out as well. I'm hoping this is the last turn of Tailwind, because if it is, we've got this. <coughs> Umbreon's showing why he's probably one of the best evolutions out there. Out there. Alright, how many more turns has he got? No more turns! Oh, he's got Tailwind once. Right, so... By spiky shield, protect again. Let's get rid of this tailwind. And whatever hits me is potentially going to get taken. If you know, if uh, Iron Boulder hits the um, ogre on there, mighty cleave still goes through. Okay, I didn't know that. Didn't realize that it still went through the um, the protect. Okay, my turn. Right, let's attack one of each. One leech, and then foul play into the Chiyu. Whoever he swaps out into is going to get hit. Unless he protects with both. Yeah, protect with Chiyu, that's fine. But... The Iron Ball does not live in this. Yeah, we've got this. We've won. That He's just going to try and save that um, Chiyu. One hit from any any of my Pokemon and he's gone. He does have the Volcarona though. So I do need to take that out. But I think the Ogre Pond's quicker than the Volcarona anyway. Without the Tailwind. So we'll see. I can't. We'll have a look. There we go. Right. Do you like Volcar Volcarona as a Pokemon? Alright, let's go Ivy Cudgel into Volcarona. And let's foul play into the Chiyu. Again, hit one of each. Could have snarled, but if he gets a double protect now, I'll be annoyed. Nah, I'm quicker. I win. We win. He's never going to survive. Heat wave. Okay. He took out the um, Umbreon. Ah. Ogapon's put in quite a bit of work here, so. I'm happy with that. And I've got Espeon left, so let's just, yeah, see what Espeon can do. He's going to protect it. It's going to be annoying. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, Espeon takes the win. Look at that. I use them both. It's good to know that he's quicker than Ogapon, though. Right, that was a very good second battle. Let's get on to the third. Right, okay, so third and final game, guys. Um, okay, this team looks strong, and I have gone up against a team like this before, so my priority here is that for Rijaraf, we need to take it out. Uh, so Umbreon's definitely a good shout here. I mean, even Espeon at this point is a good shout. Let's then bring the... Hmm. Let's bring the Glamora. We haven't brought the Glamora yet. Well, we did. Did we? No, we didn't. We haven't brought Glamora. Let's bring it out. Get that toxic. Uh, tell you what, should we do it first then? Let's bring out Glamora. Get maybe if I get hit, you know, toxic spike, that sort of thing. Uh, not let's tell you what. Let's bring Umbreon and then Espeon third, uh, and then we bring. Do I bring Tickatunk? Water Terror. Uh, yeah, let's bring Tick and Tunk. We haven't used it yet. So he's gone with Frigiraf and Ogapon. So yeah, so he's either going to follow me or protect. 
But either way, I'm going to attack the um, the Ferrigeraf. Just because I don't want the Trick Room going off. Uh, I'm going to Sludge Bomb into the Ferrigeraf, just in case he does follow me, and then I get you know a bit of a more more of an effective hit on the Ogapon. So he's gone follow me. So yeah, so that Sludge Bomb was a good shout. Um, and the foul, foul play is going to hit Ogapon hard. It's not. It's going to hit the Ferrigeraf hard. I can't believe that took it out in one go. I am happy with that. Still get the trick room off, but at least we took out the Ogapon. That was great. Oh, that was a great move. Great turn. My priority was for Ridgeraf there. So taking out the Ogapon was bonus, and this is why it was yeah. So he's gonna hit hard no matter what he uses right now. Spiky shield, will that actually protect him? It doesn't matter. Let's just go meteor beam. Into the Esaluna, and let's go foul play into the Furry Giraffe again. He's got a Terror. Is it going to be normal type? Normal type, yeah. I mean, if I do get the Meteor Beam off here, it'll be um, it'll do more damage now because he's a Terror. He's Terror normal. Who's he going to hit? He's going to Hyper Voice. Is he going to hyper voice? Yeah. Of course he is. It's going to kill Glamora. No, it doesn't. Win. And we get the toxic debris. Oh, he hasn't got it. I probably should read up on the po on what Pokemon I'm using. Right, so we are going to get off the Meteor Beam here. Is this going to be a easy win? Let's have a look. I should have used this uh, team for my Glamora video. Glamora putting in work here. Right, how much damage is this going to do now? Oh. Why would you give it a Focus Sash? I mean, I know why. That's why, but why? Oh, I'm going to Snarl. Who's he got left? He's got one Pokemon left. Thorco. Yay. Right, I'm definitely going to lose now. Let's go with Earth Power into Torkoal, and we will Snarl with both of them. He's going like, to use Eruption now. This is where I lose. I don't think I brought the Entei either for Extreme Speed. That would have been quite good, actually. Didn't think of that. Eruption, is, yeah, he's taking me out. Torkoal is way too good in Trick Room. Hyper voice misses, obviously. Right. Who is left? Oh, he's got... Um... Oh, he hasn't got Focus Ash. He's got Leftovers. Right. How am I going to play this? I haven't got anything... Oh. And the Sicker Tonk as well. Fake out. I can fake out the Ursaluna. Is it going to do damage, though? Or do I fake out the... I have... No, I need... it won't do damage. I need to fake out the... Torkoal here. How many more turns... Two more turns. Right, let's try and survive for two turns. So we've got Dazzling Gleam. And let's... Um, let's fake out the Torkoal. Winch can move, which is great. Hyper Voice, please don't take out the Ticketunk. Doesn't take out the Espeon either. Doesn't even take it to his Sash. Ursaluna's dead. Now we focus on Torkoal. So if I can protect... I think I've got protect with both of them. I can outlive the uh, the tree room here. That's the plan. And I haven't terrored yet. So let's protect. Oh, I've got Encore. Right, let's terror. And... What hits more? Oh yeah, let's just go with, the, with that. Let's protect with the SPM. At least I'll live this a little bit. I hope.
Good job, Espeon. Right, please live this. I can't win otherwise. Yes. All day. And we've got the Citrus Berry. Even better. Right, how much damage is this going to do now? Not a lot. No damage whatsoever. So that Espeon is basically my lifeline here. Let's go with Psychic. Let's go with Play Rough. Come on, do a lot of damage. Thank you, Espeon. Espeon coming in again with the save. We did three games. We won three games. Right, let's go on to the team talk. Right, here we go. So, the one of the best teams I've possibly used in a while. Um, Pokeberm, if you ever watch this, I don't know why you would. But if you are watching this, I love this team. Umbreon and Espeon are a great pair. Um, I like the fact that Umbreon is more special offensive focus, so with the Snarl, and Espeon is physically with the baby doll eyes. Wish the charm, you know, charm was a bit better. So I wish it had charm and it did the same sort of um, effect that baby doll has, where it, it was priority. But you know, baby doll eyes is is better than nothing. It's basically an extra intimidate. Only just realised that Espeon had magic bounce as well. Um, so I wish I knew that. Um, but yeah, I have nothing to say, nothing bad to say against this team. That last match especially was great. Um, Gomora coming in with the, almost taking out the um, Ursaluna. Ticketonk, to be fair, didn't do much, but it did enough to help me. So if it hadn't faked out that Torkoal, I wouldn't have survived another round. Um, you know, wouldn't have been able to outlast the Trick Room. So the fake out, and obviously being terror, Water Terror was great against that Torkoal. So the fake out helped massively. Um, Ogre Pond again, second game played brilliantly. Uh, I can't remember the first game too much, actually. Now, but I think it was Entei. Anyway, but yeah, dude, I, if you're watching this, I love this team. Um, guys, I will post the rental code and the um, Poké Paste underneath the description so you can have a look. Check out the team, try it. I like, new te like different teams like this where it's not just the meta. If you've got any, send it my way. I'll try it. Or if you know of any that you've seen and you want me to try, let me know. Uh, but I'll leave you there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Peace out.